So welcome everyone. Uh, thank you very much for signing up for the today's uh, tutorial. I think that we have uh, about close to 70 people signed up today. And, uh, you know, we'd like to thank, you know, the Bill, uh, Bill Burns and the Dean Stewart uh, from Hopeful Software. Uh, it used to be uh, the Rogue Wave software, but now the, the, it is a Hopeful Software. And uh, I, I'd like to, you know, thank them, you know, to present uh, this tutorial, especially Dean is uh, connecting from UK. <laughs> So anyway, the uh, training agenda and the presentation slides, um, including this one, are available at the, uh, the tutorial webpage here. I'm providing the link. And uh, also the Bill and the Dean uh, uh, provided the, uh, the training hands-on materials. So I put them in the uh, CFS directory. You can uh, access them from Cori or DTNs or whatever. Uh, on the nurse machine. So I have reserved only a few hospital notes uh, today for to, uh, today's tutorial from 8.30 to 1.30 p.m. And then uh, to, to start the, the interactive job using this reservation, you have to use the reservation equals TV underscore RES uh, reservation name and then you can charge it to an intern uh, allocation account. So I put uh, all of you to the an intern allocation account. So you can use this command um, to start the interactive job. And if you want to run some jobs on KNL or Cori GPU, then you have to use your own project account. And uh, below I provide the, uh, the web link uh, for how to start the Cori GPU jobs here. So if you are interested in uh, go over there and uh, start the job. And the Total View UI, the user interface has uh, the you know, classic user interface and the new user interface. So they have rolled out the uh, new user interface uh, probably a few years uh, since few a few years ago, and uh, this is getting improved quite a bit. And uh, Bill convinced me this time that uh, new UI is uh, really good. <laughs> Even though some some features are still missing, like in the memory scape, is still available in classic UI. And uh, today's tutorial will be using new UI, and uh, because uh, Bill's you know, persuasion pretty much. So with the latest version of Total View 2023.11, which was uh, released last week, NERSC uh, finally has adopted the new UI. We have been ignoring this new UI for quite a bit so far. But NERSC webpage is still based on the classic UI and uh, I'll be updating this webpage with the new UI information pretty soon. And then to see which UI am I using, uh, you can just check this, uh, the, this file, the total view slash dot uh, TV new UI. If it says true, then you are using new UI. If it is false, then you are using classic UI. And you can easily change it from new UI to you know, classic UI back and forth, uh, simply by editing this file or you can add a, a dash new UI or dash classic UI to your uh, total view command. So you can add this flag to change in the to, uh, to start the total view with a different UI, or you can set the uh, this environment variable TV new UI uh, either to true or false. And uh, whenever you have uh, some problem with the starting uh, total view, you can simply remove the, this directory entire directory and the restart total view will create, a, create a this directory again. And this way you can also change the uh, UI if you want. <laughs> and the lastly, uh, the, since uh, the total view is X11 GUI tool, and if you work uh, far away from NERSC, and if you click on the button, the response will come back, you know, maybe 30 seconds later or a minute later. It's painfully slow. It's totally unusable. 
So to remedy this, this problem, there are two solutions. One is to use no, no machine, NX, uh, which is you know, uh, labeled as uh, X11 accelerator. So you can start the, uh, you can connect to Cori within the NX and uh, you can start you know, X11 GUI tool there, uh, not just for total view, you can do that. So if you are interested in, uh, go to the web page, how to set it up, how to install and how to set it up. And second solution is uh, uh, what they call the TV remote display client, RDC. This is total views uh, remote client. Uh, basically you install the client on your desktop laptop and uh, start, you can uh, submit a batch job from there and you can uh, have the, uh, the result is placed on your laptop uh, in real time. So we are still looking into uh, the query setting and I believe that Dean and uh, the Dean will discuss about that later. And if that information provided, I'll put it in the web page as well. So currently uh, the clients are providing the three OS, for three OS, Linux, Mac OS, and Windows 10, 64-bit. Uh, so they are available, installation packages are available in the, if you model load total view and go to this directory, uh, total view there slash remote underscore display, there should be uh, four installation installer package there. And I also tried that this on Mac OS Big Sur, there seems to be a problem there. So it, it seems to be hanging or free, uh, freezing. So, I'm told that the, it should be okay for Catalina. Uh, so you know, just a reminder, but the Linux uh, seems okay for me. So anyway, that's all I have. Uh, do you have any question?